Hi, my name is Tom. I'm an investment banker working in the city of London. Put on a bit of weight, got out of shape, and I wanted to check my baseline to work out how fat or not fat I actually was uh, and how fit or unfit I was and get some advice on how to improve that in a systematic manner. So I'd say I was in slight denial about how fat and unfit I was and the assessment gave me hard numbers to prove I was out of shape and I was and then they gave me some really good advice on how to correct that. So target calories, I think that's really difficult because I tried to do that myself before and I had either overshot, so put weight on, or undershot by too much, which left me feeling lethargic and unable to train and not motivated. So working out the exact amount I actually needed and should be taking each day. Um, and also what a central amount of training was. I've always been a little bit all or nothing. So have overtrained for a period, burnt myself out and then stopped training and got back out of shape. And Paul was very good at advising on a sensible balance of training. So a lot of that was going down to steady state cardio uh, and that was good advice from Paul actually. Historically, I got into some of the sort of fad, not fad, but the buzzwords, um, you know, fartlek, tabata, interval training. I think that's all well and good and that's attractive because you know that's how the athletes train. What we ignore is they're training that once they've already built up a cardiovascular base and jumping to that too soon ignores your cardiovascular base and also puts a lot of stress in your system. So taking it back down to doing systematic steady state cardio, building up that cardio base, endurance, um, making sure I was robust and only then starting to mix in more of the interval type training. I'm happy with the shape I'm in and the weight I'm at. My focus now is improving my fitness. So I don't expect to lose any more weight or body fat, but want to increase my VO2 max. And that's one of the ways that this place has been really useful. I think weight and body fat is something you can see and you naturally focus on yourself. Fitness is a harder thing to touch or feel or quantify because you can't see it apart from when you're playing sport or running up and down a set of stairs. Whereas the VO2 max test here, putting a number on it, that makes it very easy to say, actually, am I getting fitter? Am I getting better?